Hello, good afternoon, happy Sunday everyone. It's good to catch up with you all again. Today I'm going to treat this topic outside because it's a very beautiful Sunday. You can see it's very sunny. I will show you. It's actually as the name implies, sun day. Sun day. You know, sun and day that it is that's exactly what it is today sunday it's actually very sunny but also it's a beautiful afternoon we're gonna sit right here and have the topic of today but before then i want to show you something i don't know this is a flower uh in front of our apartments and i saw something i don't know what that thing is i don't know if you can see this is a fruit this looks like um i don't know it looks like watermelon i don't know if it's if it's watermelon but it looks like it and i'm sure this is not the tree of watermelon these are flowers and as much as i don't know the particular name of this flower but let's just proceed with our topic for today so um today is sunday and first sunday of the new month of june we're already in june so fast and unbelievable you know when days weeks months keep passing by um, we begin to think it's rolling by so fast and definitely we are not ready for that okay when June and if you don't understand we almost half of the year like I'm trying to remember it's not just this January we entered just like yesterday already when June but hey you have nothing to worry about that's what brought about the topic of today which is lifting up one spirit we're going to talk about lifting our spirit today we will talk about newness and embracing new things of life releasing your past memories your negative past memories whatever that happened to you negatively in the past we have to begin to release them one by one you have to learn how to forget about your old bad memories anything that must have brought hurt into your life anything that must have made you cry anything that must have pulled you back or anything must have happened to you negatively begin to release all of them they're all in the past let them remain in the past there are so many things we must have gone through in this life it might be a breakup from a relationship it might be a divorce it might be losing one's job. It might be um, losing anything tangible to your life, anything that you hold so dearly in your life, something you once loved, and all of a sudden you found yourself um, alone without that thing anymore. These are the things that hurt. It hurts so bad, so deeply. But we are going to learn how to release all those bad memories away from us that is if you want to go forward in life you know for one to go forward in life you have to learn how to release negative emotions any negative energy anything that must have cost you pain that must have cost you hurt learn how to re release all for you to be able to move ahead in life so belong to the past just like the name implies past is past not your future many people are really really so scared of embracing future it made them to hold to hold on to past in so much so that um, they find it difficult to live in in the present you have to live in the present forget about the past whatever that happened to you happened in the past we're talking about future here then learn how to embrace future there's one thing about embracing future you don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect for you to know what will happen in your future it doesn't necessarily need to be the one to do something you feel is right that can give you whatever expectations you have for your future all you owe your future is to release the past relieve yourself of the past leave every negative vibration negative energy negative memories bad memories something that costs you pain but all in the past all you need to do is keep them in the past just like the name 
focus on the future. And for you to embrace the future, you have to be happy. Embrace happiness. Embrace truth, because we all need to be truthful to ourselves. Embrace truth. Embrace yourself. Be hopeful. Look forward for the future. Do the things you can do. Most important of them all is leaving the doors of your heart open. Don't use because of what happened to you in the past and lock up the doors of your heart. If you can listen to some of my teachings to motivate us in this life, I always hammer upon leaving the doors of your heart open. Many people are good at locking up everywhere, all their hearts. When you lock up all your hearts, you find it difficult to meet new people, you find it difficult to embrace future, you find it difficult to embrace new things in life. And by so doing, you will find it difficult in life. This is why we always teach ourselves to let go, move with the future, fly with it. Just the only thing I will tell you to learn how to do is to work with your God. When you are walking with your God, believe that things will begin to fall for you as you keep moving in love, in truth to yourself, in openness, in honesty. God will definitely position the right people for you to bless your life, to enrich you, to take you from the level you are to another higher level positively. That is when you are walking with God because we all need to then release the past so that you can be happy in life there are some of us who are good at holding on to the past so much so that you forget yourself there are some people that they keep bringing their past they keep talking about what happened to them in the past maybe you've heard about it but they keep telling you a thousand and one times whenever they see you they keep telling you what transpired in the past which they have they, they've already told you in the past but they keep saying it you are kind of, you are living in the past if you're that type of person who always every second of the day talking about your past that you have already said to a lot of people you have already told everybody you know about the past but you kept on reminding them by talking about it all the time i will tell you you are still living in the past you allowed your past to hold on to you you embrace the past instead of your future and what this will do to you is that it, it will make you not to move forward in life because for you to move forward in life you need to let go of your past when you let go of your past that is when you embrace future that is when you embrace new opportunities that is when you embrace new things of life and believe me in as much as we don't know our future there's always something good that comes with future everything cannot be bad if you think something will, bad will happen for your future, then it starts within you. It starts by you believing that something bad will happen to you. All these things are the things that happen in the spiritual realm. These, whatever you believe in happens for you or happens to you. If you believe that nothing bad will happen to you, even if that bad was initially projected into your, into your life, to happen to you but because of your belief that the bad is not for you and it will never come your way God will definitely remove it see your faith knowing fully well that you are believing and trusting in him to make a way for you where there's no way everything will be reversed for your case everything will be reversed for your good that is how it's work so like I said earlier on when I came out today is Sunday a new month and also the first Sunday of the month let us begin to release our past. Leave your past where it belongs and focus on your future. Don't be afraid to embrace future. Don't be afraid to be you. We all deserve... Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank you. We all deserve the best. We all deserve happiness. We all deserve love. We all deserve peace. That peace is what we're trying to bring into your life into our life because i need peace you need peace so because we deserve all these things we need to embrace it we have to for you to move forward like i said embrace happiness embrace yourself don't be afraid of who you are don't be afraid to explore don't be afraid to be reborn don't be afraid to embrace future stop running away from future future will always be there 
So let us stop running away from it. Embrace future and everything will be perfectly all right for you. Embrace future and you will be happy you do. Embrace future and you will be happy in the end. Okay? So, no more afraid. Don't panic. Just embrace future and all will be well in no distant time. So thank you so much. This is the topic I have for us today. And I also want to say happy Sunday again and welcome to a very bright and sunny Sunday where I am. I don't know how your place is, but mine is extremely sunny. If you notice, I'm just kind of under the shade because if I go out, you see what it looks like. And thank you so much and if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not fail to subscribe to this wonderful channel like I always say we are one family and I want to say that I'm gonna bring another interesting topic for Ross so before we leave I have um, an affirmation for you to go through this affirmation is gonna help you make sure you read it every morning when you wake up so that you can get through all your emotional problems that have been weighing you down leave them in the past like i said with this particular affirmation i'm gonna drop on my comment section will help you just go through it and everything will be over thank you so much and bye